So I'm vegan and I was diagnosed at 16, I'm 22 now, and I was diagnosed with relapse and remitting MS. Can you talk a bit about when you first started experiencing problems with your walking? So it was quite soon after I was diagnosed. Um, I think I was diagnosed in July and by October I had an elbow crutch. But it was mainly my balance that had knocked things off for me at that point. I did have weakness and like foot drop in one side, but the crutch was more, you know, if I could stay upright, I could deal with the rest, I guess. So I think it wasn't that soon after I was diagnosed. Mm -hmm. And when did you first start using a walking aid and how did that make you feel? Um, So I started using it when I was in school, so 16, and I suppose at the time, because I didn't really speak a lot about my MS and I wasn't like I hadn't told people in school and it, it was basically a clear sign that yeah there was something up with me and I didn't really like that I didn't like the fact that there was a you know something that showed that I wasn't well and I suppose I was lucky in the sense that it was an elbow crutch so it didn't look like it looked medical so I could get away with saying oh I've got a sore knee or something like that you know if someone was to ask me what I'd done to myself and it I think I kept that up for about four months being like oh I've got Sony until I ended up using a wheelchair so it was it was difficult at first because I just tried to hide everything so it was almost I had to realize okay people are gonna have to know eventually Mm -hmm. and what response did you get from your friends at school um and sort of did you get a different response from using a crutch to then using a wheelchair so my friends were absolutely fine about it they were just like all right that's cool like it didn't put them up or down I guess which was great um other people though because they didn't know what was wrong with me a lot of people just came to the assumption I was faking and, you know, it was like I was milking, you know, like a sprained ankle or something, which I guess, well, it's not fair enough, but because I hadn't told anyone, they had no other information to go off. But when I got my wheelchair, that's when the school basically stepped in and like, look, we're going to tell people because you're getting a bit of a hard time about it. And when you're in a wheelchair, you're going to get more questions. So that's when it came out that I had MS to like my, my year in school. So I had to deal with that plus like now using a wheelchair. So there was a lot going on, but I very quickly sort of realised at that point it was helping me like to have a wheelchair. It was helping me. It meant I could do more things and get out and about and have that independence. And also I just didn't have to like bounce off the walls. So no, it was it was helpful, but it was a very weird time, I guess, in general. Mm. And I think you've mentioned this already. So what mobility aids do you use now? Do you mainly use your, your wheelchair? So if I'm able to, I use a rollator now. So I look a bit like a granny, but it does, it does really help because I can put things in the little basket. So I don't have to worry about that. So like if I go, go into test scores for a few things, you know, it's, quite handy to have plus there's a seat on it so it's like two birds one stone and it gets me going and then I suppose my wheelchair I do use but I've got an electric one and a self-propel one and uh, I'm waiting for my self-propel one to actually arrive at wheelchair services so I can get a new one and um, again it's for that independence the one I've got just now is too sort of bulky to push myself Originally, when we got it, it was I was really young, well at the time, and it was more so that someone else could push me. Um, but this one now, I'm really excited for just because it means I can get out and about independently again. Um, and it's just, I suppose, having the idea of I can take myself in my car into like say the city centre, take it out my car because lucky I'm lucky enough to still be able to do that, and then I can just wheel myself around. You know, and I used to struggle with the idea of like going into cost and them having to help me like take a tray to a table. But now I just don't care, I guess. It's like, okay, yeah, can you help me please? I think it sounds like it's made a, a really sort of positive change 
in your life and it's good to see it in a positive way and it, it's sort of allowing you to to stay independent which is really important mm-hmm. especially when you're um at your age and you want to be sort of going out at the weekends and things yeah. um so how did it feel when you when you first actually sat in a wheelchair and used one for the first time was it quite a big thing to get over mentally I think because at the time again it was like almost okay yeah you are actually unwell and because I'd gone from being quite active quite like able-bodied and then it was like a crutch and then it was quite quickly into needing a wheelchair so it sort of it opened my eyes to what MS was doing to my body I guess but when I actually got a wheelchair I was thinking it's sort of great because my leg pain wasn't as bad and it was a bit of a relief I guess because I could still get around like I had my wheelchair in school and it meant I could get through a whole day at school because I wasn't physically tired all the time like it was still quite a lot for my arms because I'm pretty weak so trying to wheel myself around was difficult but again it, it was a bit of yeah relief because I could keep my independence I guess. Mm. Yeah definitely and um, using a mobility aid can make your MS a bit more visible to other people so when you are going out and about do you find that more people sort of ask you oh what's wrong or do more people ask you about your MS? Um, I fa- Well I think people are nosy so when I had my elbow crutch there was a lot of oh what have you done to yourself and like people expect you to be like injured so like maybe you'd hurt your knee or so I got a lot more questions then but I always used to see people with walking sticks and I used to think well nobody seems to be asking them what's wrong so I actually got like a decorative um elbow crutch so it's got tulips all down like the bar of it and it's it stopped people asking because people were like oh it's just a walking stick so it wasn't so like medical it was more an accessory I guess like it was helping me get around but it wasn't so in your face and I find um people now with my relator I think they do look at me and think why is she got like her granny's push along frame but it doesn't really bother me um when I'm in my wheelchair as well I find people are more uh I don't know the word like if someone sees a wheelchair they think straight away okay that person's in a wheelchair they don't ask questions they just think oh they're in a wheelchair and it's not this big issue when you go into like a disabled toilet or you go into do you like the lift so in our shopping center we only have like one lift and all the grannies try to get in it and I'm just there like yeah don't mind me but when you have these things people sort of assume like yeah you'll need help so if I was to fall or something it's for me it's a bit of security that someone would help me instead of if I was just to fall randomly I guess yeah yeah I think you've got a really good attitude as well like towards your your walking aids um which leads on to my next question so do you see them in a positive way um and I'm guessing that they do give you that little bit of independence as well yeah because well I I would be lying if I said when I first had to get them I wasn't like totally gutted because it's one of those things you want to try to keep your mobility and you want to like hold on to that but the way my MS was affecting me just wasn't it wasn't playing games for me and I ended up really really upset for a good while and now the older I get the more I just see it's a tool it's the same as if you were to get like you know those things to go around your fork and knife when you can't grip them or some like it's it's nothing to do with you it's just a tool to make your life easier and having that mindset helped me so much because it's just like oh yeah it is how it is. I'll get my wheelchair. And I find now the more that I've accepted stuff, the more I'm willing to do. So I never thought I'd go for like a night out with a relator. And don't get me wrong, it was stressful because I was like bumping into people's chairs or whatever, but I still did it. And if you'd asked me at 16 if I'd done it, no way. There was no way I was going to do something like that. And I don't know, it's just... Although it's annoying to like take them around with you or whatever, it saves you from falling, getting hurt, 
it gives you that confidence to go out on your own and I don't know like there's just even if you look at the Paralympians things like that there's such a positive outlook now on things and I mean you've got a wheelchair what like what of it you're just the same person just with wheels to help you get around like it's not I don't know I think it's easier for me to say now that I've had years of experience with it but it is more positive nowadays yeah definitely I think I think it is becoming a bit more normalized um but but yeah I think looking at it as a tool to help you is is a really good attitude to have I think um um, and it's a really sort of positive way to look at things um so finally what would you say to other young people that are maybe sort of in the same situation as you but they're a bit worried about using a mobility aid for the first time I suppose it's like just rip the plaster off just do it because I found once I did it once it was like oh what was all the fuss about like honestly it was I, I had worked myself up so much about it what other people are going to think what other people are going to say yeah you might get an odd look or whatever but so what you're out and about and you're actually doing it and you're doing it for yourself and it's just I don't it's like this little breakthrough you have and you're like okay yeah I can do that I can do it again and then it just becomes sort of normality to you.